Hi there, this is Andy from My Dying Bride and you're watching Metal Hammer TV. Taken 17 years to play an English festival. That's um, true. Yeah. yeah, we've been doing European festivals for years and years and years. And it's, I don't know whether it's the English people who are a little bit slow to catch up, or I don't know whether we simply don't appeal to English people. Full stop. Uh, but we certainly appeal to the sort of continental crowd. Um, and so, yeah, to come here and play this festival is just. For me, it's really weird. We've never done anything like this in the UK. I didn't realise that. It certainly does. Well, it certainly is. This, uh, to be fair, we we didn't ex we were proud to be asked, you know, to come down to download uh, and 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 play. Uh, and that was that. We were just like, whatever it costs for us to come and do it, we will do. Uh, it's like Aaron said, it's an English festival. It is for me the mecca of heavy metal, because this is Donington for me, not download. So uh, we've played, all right, okay, it's the uh, Dimebag Darrell stage, which is a great honour, you know, because it's the first time it's called that in honour of Dimebag. So it's a, there's a lots of pluses for us as a band, as, a, as, as musicians. Uh, it's, we didn't expect the response we got. We were far, it was better than we expected because we're used to the European crowd that seemed to like, understand my dying bride. I'm quite surprised better. I didn't get hit by yeah. a bottle of piss <laughs> or something yeah. similar. Well, I forgot to take it on this time. It's, for me, it's been a, a great pleasure to play today. Um, and the crowd, as much as we d I didn't expect this kind of response, I have to admit. It's in, only in, well, to be fair, only in Europe. I, I still consider My Dying Bride to be the biggest underground band in England. Uh, which is, I don't mind that, to be fair. I quite like that. Uh, but I was surprised today. It's taken me back. Uh, yeah, it's hard work. I mean, uh, we're really dedicated to you know, giving the very best that we possibly can for what we do for our art. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our art form is a little bit too much, um, again, for the English crowd. I really don't know why. I think English people like foreign stuff because it's a bit exotic, it's yeah. a bit different. It's yeah. not home territory, it's something else. And maybe that's why the continental crowd like us so much, because again, we're a bit different, we're a bit foreign and weird, but the English people, I wouldn't say snubbed my dying drive for a long time, but have kind of just not really known what the hell we're about. And it, only in the last couple of years, particularly this year, even though we're only halfway through it, the UK audience have really been opening their eyes to us a bit. And that's true. a great thing for us, you know, it's, 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 it can only be a bonus, and from now on I think everything's going up from this moment. Yeah, no, it's been good. To be fair, no, we, we, we try and, uh, to, we, we don't deliberately try not fit in, but we're just glad to be part of the metal scene. And a couple of years back we were called Gothic and that kind of, you know, fizzled out. And now I guess we're just sort of Doom. Uh, I mean, before that we were Death Doom. And, uh, I don't know what exactly how to describe well, it. I didn't Which mind any of those. I great. I mean, yeah. for years we've always... We've always told journalists, when they've asked us the question, how do you describe My Dying Ride, we've almost answered with, well, that's not our job, that's your yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we are My Dying Ride. Um, you need to tell your readers and listeners and viewers what My Dying Ride is all yeah. about, what they sound like. You need some sort of point of reference. And fortunately, for years and years, that's been quite tricky, uh, which means we must be doing something right. Yeah, totally. Which is a great thing. Isn't it? You know, if somebody said, "Oh, yeah, they sound like Slayer, or they sound like sound like Candle Mass, or they sound like Celtic yeah. Cross," then I would like that band. Well, yeah, <laughs> but they can't <laughs> nail us down. Whoever they, they can't might be. Yeah. We were when we started uh, MDB. I was, uh, and I think Aaron as well, massively influenced uh, uh, listening to Celtic Frost, uh, Candle Mass. Uh, we're in there. Bathory. We're in there. I was a big obituary fan, big Morbid Angel fan, you know. So it was it was all the good stuff in death metal, it was all the good stuff that I mean it wasn't really classed as doom back then, it but it was something but it wasn't well I think it was called doom but it was it was just straight doom but even then it was uh, a bit separate. I was a big yeah. fan of opera as well. I loved theatrical mm -hmm. music. I, I wasn't really interested in bands who just turned up on stage in jeans and t-shirts and threw out some three minute wonders. That didn't mean anything to me. I love Celtic Frost because they did nutty stuff. Mm. 
that just did not conform to the standard at all. They did what they wanted. And I really, really admired that. And I thought, um, I would love to do something like that. And unfortunately for us, they pretty much stopped doing that when they did Cold Lake, which yeah. is a rubbish album, which... I've they spoken, even admit as well. I've spoken yeah. to Tom about, you know, and he, you know, he admits that it's not their best. Mm -hmm. um, but when they did that, we almost stepped into their shoes yeah, straight away. True. And took up the mantle and carried it on. And, and we've been doing that ever since. And well, I think it's, it's worked well for us.